Hello students and everyone. Welcome back to class 6th maths on my YouTube channel. We will begin practice set 33 on textbook page number 70. Maganlal bought trousers for rupees 400 and a shirt for rupees 200 and sold them for rupees 448 and rupees 250 respectively. Which of these transactions was more profitable? Cost price and selling price of a trousers and shirt both is given mix. First you have to write the statement of cost price and selling price of trousers. After that you have to find profit and profit percent of trousers. Cost price of a trousers is equal to rupees 400. Selling price of a trousers is equal to rupees 448. You have to find profit and profit percent. The formula of profit is selling price minus cost price. That is equal to selling price is 448 minus cost price is 400. You have to subtract this number. 448 minus 400. You have to start subtracting from unit please. 8 minus 0, 8. 4 minus 0, 4. 4 minus 4, 0. After subtracting this number, the answer is 48. Therefore, profit is equal to rupees 48. After finding profit of trousers, you have to find profit percent of trousers. The formula of profit percent is profit upon cost price multiplied by 100. Profit percent is equal to you have to substitute the value of profit of trousers how much you got. That is 48 upon cost price of trousers how much it is 400 multiply by 100. Cancel both the zeros on numerator and denominator. That is equal to 48 upon 4. You have to divide 48 by 4. 4 ones are 4 twelves are 48. That is equal to 12 percent. Profit percent of trousers is 12 percent. Secondly, you have to find cost price and selling price of a shirt. After that, you have to find profit and profit percent of shirt. Cost price of a shirt is equal to rupees 200. Selling price of a shirt is equal to rupees 250. You have to find profit and profit percent. The formula of profit is selling price minus cost price. That is equal to selling price is 250 minus cost price is 200. Subtract this number. 250 minus 200. Start subtracting from unit place. 0 minus 0, 0. 5 minus 0, 5. 2 minus 2, 0. That is equal to 50. Therefore, profit is equal to rupees 50. After finding profit of shirt, you have to find profit percent of shirt. The formula of profit percent is profit upon cost price multiply by 100. Profit percent is equal to profit of shirt how much you got after subtracting. You have to substitute the value of profit of shirt that is 50. Upon cost price of a shirt is 200 multiply by 100. Cancel both the zeros on numerator and denominator. Now you have to divide 50 by 2. 2 ones are 2 25s are 50. That is equal to 25 percent. Profit percent of shirt is 25 percent. The main question of this sum Last sentence what is given? Which of these transactions was more profitable? You have to compare the profit percent between trousers and shirt. Profit percent of trousers you got 12 percent. Profit percent of shirt you got 25 percent. So which is more profitable? Shirt is more profitable. So final statement you have to write. Therefore, Shirt was more profitable. Ram Rao bought a cupboard for Rs. 4,500 and sold it for Rs. 4,950. 
Shamra bought a sewing machine for rupees three thousand five hundred and sold it for rupees three thousand nine hundred and twenty, whose transaction was more profitable. First, you have to write the statement, cost price and selling price of a cupboard. After that, you have to find profit and profit percent of cupboard. Cost price of a cupboard is equal to rupees four thousand five hundred. Selling price of a cupboard is equal to rupees four thousand nine hundred fifty. You have to find profit and profit percent. The formula of profit is selling price minus cost price. That is equal to selling price is four thousand nine hundred fifty minus cost price is four thousand five hundred. You have to subtract this number. Zero minus zero, zero. Five minus zero. Five, nine minus five, four. After subtracting this number, I am getting four hundred fifty. That is is equal to four hundred fifty. Therefore, profit is equal to rupees four hundred fifty. After finding profit of cupboard, you have to find profit percent of cupboard. The formula of profit percent is profit upon cost price. Multiply by hundred. Profit percent is equal to. You have to substitute the value of profit of cupboard. How much you got after subtracting? Profit of cupboard is four hundred fifty upon cost price of cupboard is four thousand five hundred. Multiply by hundred. Cancel both the zeros on numerator and denominator. Then after that you have to divide 450 upon 45. That is is equal to 450 upon 45. 45 ones are 45 tens are 450. That is is equal to 10 percent. Profit percent of cupboard is 10 percent. Secondly, you have to write the statement cost price and selling price of a sewing machine. After that, you have to find profit and profit percent of sewing machine. Cost price of a sewing machine is equal to rupees three thousand five hundred. Selling price of a sewing machine is equal to rupees three thousand nine hundred twenty. You have to find profit and profit percent. The formula of profit is selling price minus cost price. That is is equal to selling price is three thousand nine hundred twenty minus cost price is three thousand five hundred. You have to subtract this number three thousand nine hundred twenty minus three thousand five hundred. Zero minus zero zero two minus zero two nine minus five four. That is is equal to four hundred twenty. Therefore, profit is equal to rupees four hundred twenty. After finding profit of sewing machine, you have to find profit percent of sewing machine. The formula of profit percent is profit upon cost price multiplied by hundred. Profit percent is equal to profit of sewing machine. How much you got? You have to substitute the value of profit of sewing machine, which is subtracted. Profit of sewing machine is four hundred twenty. Upon cost price of sewing machine is three thousand five hundred. Multiply by hundred. Cancel both the zeros on numerator and denominator. That is is equal to four hundred twenty upon thirty five. Now you have to divide the number. Four hundred twenty by thirty-five. Thirty-five ones are thirty-five. Forty-two minus thirty-five. Two minus five is not going, so it becomes twelve. Before one digit, you have to do the cancellation. It becomes three. Twelve minus five. Seven. Zero. Bring it down. Thirty-five twos are. 
सेवेंटी सेवेंटी माइनस सेवेंटी जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट प्रॉफिट परसेंट ऑफ सीविंग मशीन इज ट्वेल्व परसेंट मेन क्वेश्चन वॉट इज गिवन उज ट्रांसेक्शन वॉज मोर प्रॉफिटेबल यू हॉट टू कंपेयर प्रॉफिट परसेंट बिटवीन कबर्ड एंड सीविंग मशीन प्रॉफिट परसेंट ऑफ कबर्ड यू गॉट टेन परसेंट प्रॉफिट परसेंट ऑफ सीविंग मशीन यू गॉट ट्वेल्व परसेंट सीविंग मशीन इज मोर प्रॉफिटेबल दैन कबर्ड देन फाइनल स्टेटमेंट यू हॉट राइट देर पोर शामराव ट्रांसेक्शन वॉज मोर प्रॉफिटेबल आनी बॉट वन बॉक्स ऑफ फिफ्टी एप्पल्स फॉर रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड ई सोल्ड ऑल द एप्पल्स एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज टेन ईच वॉज देर अ प्रॉफिट और अ लॉस वॉट ऑज इट्स पर्सेंटेज कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ वन बॉक्स ऑफ फिफ्टी एप्पल्स इज गिवन रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड रीड नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस ऑफ दिस सम वॉट इज गिवन सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ वन एप्पल इज गिवन रुपीज टेन यू हॉट फाइंड सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टी एप्पल्स If you are finding selling price of more than one apples, you have to multiply. That is equal to ten into fifty. Fifty tens are five hundred. That is equal to rupees five hundred. Selling price of fifty apples is equal to rupees five hundred. Now you have to compare between selling price of fifty apples and cost price of fifty apples, which is more. selling price is greater than cost price so you have to find profit the formula of profit is selling price minus cost price that is is equal to selling price is 500 minus cost price is 400 if you are finding profit you have to arrange the number of selling price of 50 apples and cost price of 50 apples how much is there That is five hundred minus four hundred. Subtract this number. Five hundred minus four hundred. Answer is hundred. Therefore, profit is called rupees hundred. Now you have to find profit percent. The formula of profit percent is profit upon cost price multiplied by hundred. Profit percent is equal to you have to substitute the value of profit. How much you got? That is hundred upon cost price of fifty apples is four hundred multiplied by hundred. Cancel both the zeros on numerator and denominator. Now you have to divide hundred by four. You can do four table cancellation. Four ones are four twenty five are hundred. That is is equal to twenty five percent. Therefore profit percent is equal to twenty five percent. If you understood class sixth maths, practice at thirty three. Use the feedback or comments. Subscribe the channel, like and share. Thank you.